in this video we will be discussing about encoder so what is a encoder so basically encoder is a combinational logic circuit which takes n number of 2 to the power n number of input lines and it encodes that to a n number of output lines so here 2 to the power n is what my input lines or number of inputs and n is the total number of outputs here for example if there are the relation will always be in terms of 2 to the power n and n so if there will be four inputs let's say so we will take that as d0 d1 d2 and d3 if there are four inputs are there like this then in that case there will be two outputs will be there let us take that as a and b so here number of input is 4 which is equals to 2 power 2 and this 2 is nothing but the number of output that is the power so two outputs are there now to design the encoder circuit so what we need so we need a truth table first so once we draw the truth table then we can design the circuit for that so how to design the two circuit uh, um, means uh, truth table so first we have to write the input variables that is d0 d1 d2 and d3 these are my input variables and there will be two output variables which are a and b so depending on the input so there will be output variables will be there so how to find the relation between them so first one is if the input line d0 is equals to 1 that means all other values are 0 and if d0 value is 1 if the input is available at d0 then the output will be 0 0 so d0 corresponds to 0 0 output next if the input is d1 that means input is available at d1 then the output will be 0 1 which corresponds to number 1 next if the input is d2 that means d2 is 1 other values are 0 in that case the output will be 1 0 now last case if d3 is equals to 1 other values are 0 then the output will be 1 1 so if you can see here this corresponds to 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so these are nothing but d0 d1 d2 and d3 so this is my logics um, uh, truth table now so from the truth table we have to find a relation between the output a and b with the input of d3 d2 d1 d0 so how to find so we can write the output uh, relation separately for a and separately for b so for a if i write then what will be that so see how to write that so wherever the value of a is 1 so in these two places the value of a is 1 and we have to write the corresponding value which data line is there right so and generally it is written in the sop format so in sop format if i write so see for this particular one so the input value is d2 so we'll write here d2 and we have to write the other one as well that is here and corresponding value is d3 how to write that you have to write as plus so d3 plus d2 will be there right similarly if we write for b then what will be the expression so for b c the one value is here that correspond to d1 value so we'll write here d1 plus again one is here for b so b correspond to your d3 again right so we'll write here d3 now this is the relation between a and the in a b variable as the output and the input variables so next term next tax is we have to draw the circuit diagram for that so how to do that so what we know we have four inputs that is d0 d1 d2 and d3 these are my four inputs okay so what is the value of a how to find a from this input so see a is equals to d2 plus d3 so how to do that so i'll take d2 and i'll take d3 and put a or gate because that is a plus operation so we need to take a or gate and it will give me the variable a so what is the variable b now how to get the output b so b is d1 plus d3 so what we have to do here take d1 and d3 is already available here and put that in a or gate and it will give me the value b okay so this is what the circuit is for the encoder a simple encoder is there 4 bit encoder now let us check it for any random input so if we check it let's say for 0001 0001 means d0 is 1 
this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 in this case according to my truth table the output should be 0 0 let us see whether it's happening or not so see here a is what a is the or operation between d2 and d3 so d3 is 0 so this point is 0 d3 is 0 so this point is 0 so the output variable a is equals to 0 right so next we check for b also b is connection between d1 which is 0 and d3 which is again 0 the output is equals to 0 right so what we got here if a input is equals to 1 triple 0 or d0 is 1 and other values are 0 in that case we are getting the output variable as a equals to 0 b equals to 0 so that is according to my truth table it is giving me the correct answer so now if i take the input variable as let's say 0 1 0 0 so if d1 is 1 that means my output should be 0 1 a value should be 0 and b value should be 1 let us check check that whether it's happening or not so now what is the a a is equals to combination of d2 and d3 so d2 is 0 so here is 0 d3 is 0 so here 0 and the answer is 0 here again so this is correct next is b so what is b b is d1 plus d3 so d1 is here so d1 is connected to 1 so here 1 and d3 is 0 so this is 0 so the or gate output will be 1 now so what we are getting a is 0 and b is 1 so that is also correct right so this is how you can design an encoder but in this simple encoder there are some drawbacks as well so we'll discuss the drawback in the next video